Hey, hey, everybody hearing me? All right, so if you could hear my voice, just clap once. If you could hear my voice, once, once, one clap, one clap. If you could hear my voice, clap once. If you could hear my voice, clap twice. Three times. Nice, all of you are like percussionists already. Give yourselves a round of applause. Nice, good. So my name is Sheena Richardson, right? If you could look at my sweater, it says Ajibola Music, and that is my artist name because I'm a percussionist, right? So Ajibola is a name that is Yoruba, which is African, and it means one who was born with wealth and who would always have wealth. Yes? Nice. So I was a past pupil of this school. Ms. Forrester was one of my teachers, right? Sudia was also one of my teachers. And we would come here and sing lustily all the time in the church, yeah? So I want to tell you guys that it's never too much to dream big, right? Probably I'll show you all a video after of what I do and who I do stuff with. My most recent, 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 anybody knows Mikhail Tasia? Who knows Mikhail Tasia? Anybody knows Freetown? They have a song called Mass, Come Again, Look How They Ting It Fire Down. Anybody know that song? Right, so I would have done a video with all of those guys very recently, yeah? And I went to school right at St. Christopher's Anglican, yes? So it's never too much to dream, right? So today is what day? Today is not Friday. Come on, man, what today is? Today is Wednesday, and it's World Read Aloud Day. Everybody say, World Read Aloud Day. Nice. So, we're going to do a story today, but I'm going to need your help. Yes? Everybody going to help me? Yeah. Right. So, anybody knows what stick fighting is? Yeah. Who sees stick fighting before? Raise of hands. Good. Right. So, in stick fighting, it's usually a battle between two people. Right? And there's a lot of singing and what else? Well, it's sort of a dance, but what is this I have here? Right, so there's a lot of drumming in it as well, right? So the story is really, the story is really a compilation of utilizing something out of carnival, which is stick fighting, in this story of Lola and the ladybugs. Everybody say Lola and the ladybugs. Right, so we see Lola there. Lola is the one on the left, right? And that is her friend on the right there. And they ha their heads are tied because they are now going to transform into stick fighters. Yes? So when I need you all help, you all will help me, right? Good. So we're going into the story. Lola and the ladybugs. Everybody say that. Lola. Good. So we're beginning the story. I need quiet from everybody, right? Everybody could be absolutely quiet for me? Yeah. Nice. Yellow sunflowers swayed gently in the breeze. The sun glowed bright and glorious. The garden was humming as the insects gathered for the annual flower carnival. What they were gathering for? Right, it was an annual flower carnival. Perry the bee was there. Casey the cricket was there. And Lola the ladybug was there. Then they danced in their seats. They were excited about what they would see at the carnival. So who was there? Who else? Who else? Perry the bee. And who else? Casey the cricket, yes. Right, so this is the part where you all help me, right? So repeat after me. Tom ta tom ta 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 tom. Aha, tom ta tom ta 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 tom. Right, say that. 
Tom, tatum, tata, tatum, Tom, tatum, tata, tatum, Tom, tatum, tata, tatum, Tom, tatum, tata, tatum. Nice. All together, they moved left. All together, they moved right. As the Shantwell led the song. Come together, one and all. Come together, one and all. Come together, one and all. Come together for the carnival. Let me hear y'all. Come together, one and all. Come together, one and all. Come together, one and all. Come together for the carnival. Then the first group of flowers, plants, crossed the stage. Sally the sunflower, took the lead while the others followed. Then came Holy, Holy, sorry, the orchid and her group, and Haley the hibiscus with hers. Everyone danced to the rhythm of the chimbe drum. Right, so we have a next one here. This one is Tum ta tam tam ta ta tum. Again, one, two, a one, two, three, four. Tum ta ta ta. Tum ta ta ta. Right, repeat after me. Two steps forward. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Two steps forward to the left. Two steps forward to the. Two steps forward to the right. Two steps forward. First foot, then the other. First foot. Then tom ta 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 tom. Two steps backward to the left. Two steps backward to the right. First one foot, then the other. Nice. I feel like when I'm carry all on the road with me, you know. Then it was time for the last group to cross the stage. These were the non-flowering plants led by Coley the Croton. But when she began climbing the stage, everyone immediately knew that something was wrong. What do you all think could have been wrong? She said, all right, let's see. Coley the Croton was not her usual vibrant self. Today she moved slowly and she missed her steps in the dance. She couldn't follow the rhythm of the djembe drum. What's wrong, Coley? Lola shouted from the stands. But Coley couldn't answer. When it was time for Coley to spread her leaves, and show the bright greens and yellows and reds of the rainbow colors, she could barely move. Coley the Croton tried to step forward, but she stumbled and fell near the edge of the stage. Lola and her friends ran forward to help her. Everyone was concerned for Coley the Croton. Barry the Bee buzzed anxiously pacing back and forth. How could they help their friend? Then Casey the Cricket had an idea. Who had the idea? Nice. Let's call the leaf spotter, she said. The leaf spotter was the guardian of the garden. Whenever the insects had any trouble, they would go to him for help. Barry the bee zipped away to fetch the the leaf spotter. Who they went and called? Nice. When the leaf spotter came, his eyes opened wide. Coley the Croton's leaves were covered in white. He paced back and forth, mumbling to himself. He was not smiling, not smiling at all. The insects knew this was serious and they were afraid. The leaf spotter's voice was soft, but stern. It's Melvina the mealybug and her gang. They might look soft and fuzzy and white like cotton, but they were 
dangerous. What they were? Dangerous. Yes. Their damage causes leaves to lose their color and turn yellow and fall off. One of the insects screamed in terror and fainted. Would that happen to Coley? Were her leaves going to fall off too? Lola had to do something to save her friend. The drummer began to play a new rhythm on the djembe drum, and the chantwell began to sing. So all of us are going to be the chantwell now. We're going and sing? Right, so I'm going to teach you, all right? Sing this for me. Tire, tire, look a brahman. Nice. Well, I have it, man. Let's sing us. So we're going to sing, right? Tire, tire, look a brahman. Tire, tire, look a brahman. Look a brahman with a stick in the hand. Tire, tire, look a brahman. Tire, tire, look a brahman. Nice. The music of the djembe drum filled the forest, and the chantwell's voice was strong and clear. The insects began to move. Their dance was slow and sad as they thought about how to stop the mealybug gang. Their feet shuffled left and right, forward and backward. Remember that song before? Two steps forward, two steps back. Let me hear that. Two steps forward, two steps back. Two steps forward, two steps back. Nice. Nice. So the ladybugs and they are marching now. The leaf spotter had been sitting cross leg on the ground. He was quietly chewing on a stick and his hands crossed in front of him. Suddenly, he jumped to his seat and shouted, I know what to do. The music stopped and all the insects looked at him. We will challenge Melvina the ladybug and her gang to a stick fight. Who will take the challenge? I will, Lola shouted, and the drummer began to play the drum again. So we're going again. This time it's, Tire, Tire, look a boy, girl. Nice. Tire, Tire, look a boy, girl. Look a boy, girl, with a stick in she hand. Look at boy girl with a stick in she hand. Tire, tire, look at boy girl. Tire, tire, look at boy girl. Nice. On the day of the stick fight competition, all the insects gathered around the guyel. As the sun set, the fireflies glowed to the light to light the arena. Casey the Cricket began chirping to signal the beginning of the event. Immediately, the chantwell began to sing a love way. So we're learning our next song, right? She not afraid. Lola no afraid, no mealy bug. Anybody think they have it? She not afraid. Mm -hmm. Lola no afraid, no mealy bug. She not afraid. Lola no afraid no mealy bug. Lola no afraid. Lola no afraid no mealy bug. Again, Lola no afraid. Lola no afraid no mealy bug. The chantwell sang and the, to the rhythm of the djembe drum. So remember our rhythm? Tom, ta 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 tom. One, two, a one, two, three, four. Lola stepped into the gael with her stick in her hand. She danced around as the stick fighters do, back and forth. And she pretended to lash out at an imaginary mealybug. Then Melvina came. She held her stick high as she stamped around the ring. The mealybug gang cheered loudly. 
Go, Melvina. Go, Melvina. Go, Melvina. Go. The chimbe drum continued, but the chant well changed the love way. So all that meant is the chant well changed the song, right? Right. So we're going to sing our next one. Everybody ready? Yeah. Right. So you're going to repeat after me. Hooray, hurrah. Hooray, hurrah, Talmana. Nice, so we inside. You think we can try it? Yeah. All right, one, two, three, four. Hooray, hurrah, hooray, hurrah, Talmana. One, two, three, four. Hooray, hurrah, hooray, hurrah, Talmana. Two, three, four. Hooray, hurrah, hooray, hurrah, Talmana. One, two. Hooray, hurrah, hooray, hurrah, Talmana. Nice. Lola and Melvina moved across the ring dancing. Melvina tried to copy Lola's steps. They moved in the opposite direction. Left, right, forward, and backward. Coley was, was still with very sick. And the Melibar gang was now holding her prisoner. Lola raised her stick and, and Melvina raised hers too. The sticks clicked, clacked, and clackety clacked, and Melvina and Lola moved across the ring, copying each other. They were dancing and the leaf spotter noticed that Melvina did not know all the steps. What Melvina didn't know? Right. But but Melvina wasn't playing fear either. When she missed a step and stumbled, she jumped up quickly as if nothing had happened. She had lost the rhythm of the djembe drum. The other melee bug saw it and jumped in to change the rhythm so that Lola could make, could make, could make a mistake too. Lola wasn't afraid because she knew all the steps. And when the other ladybugs saw that the mailybugs, what the mailybugs were doing, they jumped into the guile too. So they could make sure Lola heard the correct rhythm. And so the battle of the ladybugs began. What happened? The battle of the? Nice. They all danced around the guile. Their sticks raised high. They stared hard at each other while the sticks clicked, clacked, clickety clacked. The drumming continued and the chantwell continued with the love way. Let's go again. So we're going, no ladybug, no afraid. They're not afraid of me, ladybug. We're going. All right, all right, let me take it slow, right? No ladybug, no afraid. No ladybug, no afraid, no melee bug. Right? Or let's try an easier one. They not afraid, say that. They not afraid. Ladybug, no afraid, no melee bug. They not afraid. Nice, we're going tempo, tempo now. They not afraid. They not afraid. Ladybug, no fail, no melee bug. They not afraid. Ladybug, no fail, no melee bug. Nice. The leaf spotter paced back and forth. The insects looked worried. Perry the bee fluttered nervously and looked away. The sight of Coley the croton on the ground, almost covered in white, was too much to bear. Suddenly, the leaf spotter shouted, Calendar, calendar. And with that, the Chantwell changed the love way. Melvina and the Melibug gang couldn't keep up. But Lola knew every step. What Lola knew? Every step. Nice. So let's go. Tom, ta 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 tom. 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 
if you can play, say that. Don't try to win the calendar. If you can play, don't try to win the calendar. Right, so I want everybody to point your hand. If you can play, don't try to win the calendar. If you can play, turn to your friend. Don't try to win the calendar. Tell your friend, if you can play, don't try to win the calendar. If you can play, don't try to win the calendar. Nice. All the ladybugs dropped their sticks and stepped aside. Lola lifted one foot and bent one knee. Then she jumped and hopped, leaning her body left and right. Her fancy footwork confused the mailybug gang, and they tripped over each other. So who went in? The ladybugs, you think so? All right, let's continue. But Melvina couldn't give up. She went to Coley the Croton and tried to fill every space on her leave with the white fuzzy cotton. Lola didn't give up either. She shouted, let's do this, ladybugs. Let me hear you all. Let's do this, ladybugs. All the ladybugs came back into the guile. They matched Lola's fancy footwork and started singing with the chant well. Their voices were strong and loud. Melvina and the mailybug got scared and ran away. Who ran away? The mailybugs. Yes, they ran away. When Melvina and the mailybug gone, when Mel Melvina and the ladybug gone, gone, it was easy to help Coley the Croton. The leaf spotter removed all the white spots from Coley's leaves. Soon, Coley was well enough to join the dancing. The ladybugs had won the battle of the bugs. So let's give them a round of applause. They won. <laughs> nice. Coley the Croton was safe once more. All the plants were safe from the Mele gang. And now it was time to celebrate. Everybody say, now it's time to celebrate. <laughs> nice, one more time. Now it's time to celebrate. <laughs> nice. Coley the Croton spread her leaves to show the bright greens and yellows and reds at the rainbow colors, at, of her rainbow colors. And everyone danced to the rhythm of the chimbe drum. Nice, so we're on the home stretch now. Remember that song that we did? Right? Boom ta boom ta. Now we're going boom ta boom ta again, man. We're going, today we win the calendar. Say that. Today we win the calendar. Today. Right. So if I say, Today we win the calendar. You all have to sing. Today we win the calendar. Today, right? You think you have it? Yeah. All right. Let me try. Test run. This is a dry run, right? Today we win the calendar. Today we win the calendar. Today. Today we win the calendar. Today we win the calendar. Today. Right. So we have it, right? We could try it with some drums. Yeah. Nice. Today we win the calendar. Today we win the calendar. Today everybody can clap. Today we win the calendar. Today today we win the calendar. Today we win the calendar. Lady Bug them they win the calendar. Today we win the calendar. Today today we win the calendar. Today we win the calendar. Today today we win the calendar. Today we win the calendar. Today today we win the calendar. Today we win the. Let me hear you. Stop the drum. Today we win the calendar. Today we win the calendar. Today today we win the calendar. Today we win the calendar. Today we win the calendar. Today, today we win the calendar. 
Nice. And this is the end of the story. Give yourselves a round of applause for being a wonderful audience. Nice. Great. So everybody enjoyed the story?